SLC Scoop, the insider's take on rugby's greatest prize. Good afternoon, Paul Wallace here on the banks of the River Moy in Ballina, County Mayo in the west of Ireland. Better known for salmon fishing around here, but all the talk around the town last night, all the celebrations, were on Ireland's victory over Australia. The real big upset so far in this World Cup. Tremendous win by Ireland. Uh, they got a lot of things going their way. They, they had the rain coming down, which always suited Ireland as the way they played the game. Also, the injuries before the game, Pocock and Moore, ruled out that, that morning of the game. You know, it was a huge uplift for Ireland. But Ireland played very well, played pressurised rugby. And I think that's what, what stole the day. Australia, not used to playing in those wet conditions. And Quay Cooper may be looking for the miracle passes on too many occasions instead of going through the phases and, and putting pressure on. Ireland still have a lot to do to get through the quarter-final. Italy are a side that on their day can, can beat Ireland and we need to get our feet right back on the ground. We also need to get a bit more creative in the back line, create opportunities, because uh, if you don't do that, we're certainly not going to go much further than the quarter-final stage. Very interesting as well is how the Polynesian sides this, did this again to Fiji. Probably didn't put enough pressure on South Africa and stood off a bit, but South Africa certainly showed their class and, and put themselves down as a real contender for this World Cup. Very clinical, Jacques Foury especially in midfield. It was an impressive performance and uh, I, I, I think that they're one to watch going forward. The, the other one, of course, in that group was Samoa against Wales. Most likely to side that Ireland were probably going to play against. Samoa, very unlucky, I thought, but Wales stuck in there, took their opportunities. I think Samoa can still give South Africa a good run for their money, but it's looking like a perhaps an Irish and Wales quarter-final, but a lot to be done before then. And of course, New Zealand, they're still looking like the favourites for me. Celsius Scoop, the insider's take on rugby's greatest prize.